Hi, everybody. Happy Saturday. How's everybody doing? How are you all feeling? All right, so as we wait for everyone else, does anybody want to share any updates, anything they want to tell us? Feel free. I would want to share something. Um, this week, uh, we, um, uh, we, uh, we all send our SF color videos out. And in the start, I didn't really have that much uh, people that applied. And I really felt like it was, uh, I was the only one who didn't get that much apply, uh, people that, want, uh, that have applied for it. But I talked with Anika and I talked uh, with other people and I realized that I'm not the only one and I shouldn't feel as bad. And a tip I could give maybe everybody in this group is that you start texting random people out of the co uh, out of different cohorts on a private chat and ask them if they really want to be your uh, stakeholders, and uh, maybe you find there are some people that want to help you. Awesome. Also, you know, to emphasize, like it's also quality over quantity, right? So, like, even if you only have two, three people that's okay, you can get some amazing feedback and information and have, you know, something incredible come out. So don't worry so much about how many people are interested. Um, yeah, it's good, you know, but Hanifa, it is good to also like spread the word and be like, I'm doing this. And like, I'm sure a lot of people personally, when they get those messages, they feel like, oh, wow, that's awesome. Like, that's really cool. But also just remember that like, you don't wanna chase so many people you want to like you don't want to you want to tell everybody but you don't need to worry if like you don't have so many people because also it has to be like good quality amount of people so that they can really really help you and give you good quality advice if, or feedback or you know all right uh Celia go ahead hello sorry at <laughs> first uh, for not having camera and yes, it was really an interesting week because except I have a lot of exam, it was really um, cool to start stakeholder group. Um, I, with um, Google Form, I didn't have this many application. I get more people by um, sending message in private saying expl explain my project. I get a lot of message and so it started to doing uh, a lot of people maybe be I sent too much message so I, I don't know <laughs> but yes it's a different point of view because it were people that I didn't um, ask question before so I don't explain too much my business and just tell them big lines and now they give me more ideas that I have before so it's really interesting. Awesome. Thank you, Celia. Would anybody else like to share any updates or anything they want to tell us? Okay. All right, so let's get started. Um, oh, Rima, raise your hand. Okay, go ahead, Rima. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. In the group that I made, uh, there's one some of my friends, but like most of my friends, like more to Arabic, not to English. So in the group, they do not actually share it so much because they even lazy to write in English and lazy to read it. <laughs> so I was thinking I can do one for them in Arabic. And then when I write, write or record the answers, I record it in English. That's okay, right? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. As long as you're translating it uh, to English, yeah, all good. So yeah, I totally understand. Yeah. People want to speak in their native language, right? And it's like they don't want to make yeah. the effort to speak, you know, English and stuff. So totally understand and that's totally okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. And I also agree. The videos were all amazing. And it's just like, I think you guys were the first group to like actually send me all the videos on time. 
and you know to have like so many videos to display like I was telling all the other mentors I was like look at this group like they have all these awesome videos they're so on top of it they're posting in the chats like it's amazing I was like I don't have to do anything like they're just they're killing it on their own so awesome job <laughs> all right so basically um today is going to be kind of like full full of like fun activities and also um, a little bit of team bonding because we want to make sure that you guys you know in these last few weeks are getting to like still talk to one another and not just hearing me talk about all the things right I feel like you guys are pretty solid on the work that you're doing so yeah we want to make today a little bit fun maybe a little bit short and then possibly at the end we can talk more about like logistics of the expo and any questions that you have all right so let's start with our first activity what we're gonna do is i'm going to start out with picking two people two people these two people they are going to turn their cameras off if they're not already off and you have 30 seconds to create like a weird funny interesting scene in your in your camera view so you can take things in your room you can i don't know be creative think outside the box but basically when i pick these two people you two are going to turn your cameras off you're going to create a weird funny interesting scene then uh, after 30 seconds, you're gonna turn your cameras on. And then whoever has like the funniest or most interesting, I will decide um, they will win. And then the other person will lose. The person who wins, they then pick the next two people to do the same. All right, does that make sense? Yes, okay, so that means people whose cameras are not on, you have to make sure to, in order to win this activity, to turn your camera on when it's time for you to, because if you don't turn it on, you have 30 seconds initially, so you decide what you want to do. This is all up to you. <laughs> so you decide if you, you know, you have to make sure that when the camera goes off, there's something happening in, the, in this box of yours, <laughs> all right? Okay, so um, let me see. Some people are saying their cameras really don't work. Okay, let's try this out with cameras who do work, and then we will see what we can, how we can alternate this. Okay, because I do have like a different activity, so maybe we can try that. But let's try. All right, so the two people I pick are Rima and Kaletso. So turn your cameras off. You have 30 seconds to make a scene and then I will let you know when to turn the cameras on and I will pick the winner. All right, so we can give them 30 seconds. Put a timer. Ten seconds. All right, Rima and Kaletso. Turn your cameras on. Did they hear me? Turn your cameras on. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Oh, <laughs> All right. I pay Kaletso. I love it. <laughs> okay. Kaletso, what is what is what did you put on your face? Okay, so um on Instagram there's this face green tea face mask that um the people who sell it claim that it removes blackheads and 
marks and pimples and white spots, but in actual fact, they take the mask and then they put chia seeds on top and then they wipe <laughs> it off and then they make it seem like the blankets are removed. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> Awesome job, Colette. So, all right, Colette, so now you pick two people. So once you pick two people, those two people are going to turn the cameras off. They have 30 seconds. And then whoever you like the best, you that's the winner. And then we'll do another round. Okay. Uh, I pick Annika and Denuzri. Annika and Denuzri, turn your cameras off. You have 30 seconds. Five seconds. All right, turn your cameras on. I have nothing to get. Um, I'm not at home, so. All right, so. The Nisha did not turn their camera on, so the winner, probably Coletto, you can say the winner. <laughs> the winner is Annika. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome job, Annika. <laughs> okay, Annika, you can pick, we'll do one last round. Um, yeah, you pick the next two people. Okay, then I take Hanife and Anish. Okay, Hanifa and Anish, you have 30 seconds. I'm trying to... It's okay if you're out and you don't have anything, you can even like make a funny face, you can do anything, be creative. It's okay. <laughs> uh, all right, turn your cameras on. <laughs> you just have to wait a second. <laughs> All right, Annika, you can pick the winner. I really liked Hanif's, but both were really good. Wait, who did you pick? Hanifa. Hanifa. <laughs> well, Anish, that was really funny too. <laughs> All right, great job. And we will do one last round. Hanifa, pick two people. So I would pick um, Josh and Medea. Okay, so Josh and Medea, um, I hope that, okay, neither of their cameras work. Okay, this is what we're gonna do instead. So, well, first thing, if your cameras don't work, please, uh, do find a way to get your cameras to work at least before Expo, because for Expo, you do have to um, have your camera on in order to put your idea. Second of all, since neither Vidaya and Josh have their cameras on, I want to ask, okay, so I think that this is something of an activity that's like could, could have been done in the very beginning, but I think what we could do is take one minute, grab a piece of paper or anything that you want to write and draw on. And by, you know, Josh, um, I don't know if I can, if you can talk, I want to hear your voice. 
So basically, I want you guys to draw what you think they look like by their voice. I mean, I'm sure many of you have already spoken to Vidaya many times, and I'm sure you've spoken to Josh um, many times as well. So take a minute and draw out who, what you think Vidaya and Josh look like. And then Vidaya and Josh, I want you to share a picture of yourself. Since your cameras don't work, please send me privately a picture of yourself that you are okay with showing, and I will display it at the end. Yes, Anika, do you have a question? <laughs> yeah. Uh, what does one do when one already knows what one of the people look like? Mm. Okay, do only one then, the okay. one that you don't know. Yeah. Okay, you guys have one minute. So Vivaya and Josh, I want you to send me a picture of yourself right now to me privately so that I can display it. And Josh, if you could say something. Say hello. hello. Hi. Josh, tell us a little bit about your project, your SOAP project. Uh, my project is people blaming blaming stuff on other people for things they didn't do. That's basically it. Yeah. I'm just waiting for the pictures to come in. Okay. All right, let's stop. Yeah, you're supposed to be, oops, sorry. You're supposed to be drawing um, what you think Vivia and Josh look like because I actually have never seen Vivia's face. So I actually don't know what she looks like, but I've been talking to her and I also don't know what Josh looks like. So since I don't have the pictures yet, let's hold off onto our drawings, put them aside and we'll move on to the next thing until I receive them. And then I will do the big review. All right. So I don't, yeah, Rima, tell me. First of all, I'm really bad at drawing. Like <laughs> I can't even tell that the person that I draw is human. <laughs> okay, so please excuse me. <laughs> That's totally okay. I'm horrible at drawing too. So like, don't worry, it's just for fun, okay? <laughs> so let's hold off <laughs> on to that. Once I get the pictures, we can come back to it. So, all right. Let's do another activity. So let's put the drawings aside. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do an activity where everybody has their cameras off 
So everybody completely turn your cameras off. And when I say something and you agree with it or you relate to it or you, you know, you like it describes you, then you turn your camera on. For those of those of you who can't turn your cameras on, do a heart emoji when I say something um, that you are, you know, saying yes to or relating to. Okay, so I will do a few prompts. If you want to say something, raise your hand and you can do a prompt and you can do the same thing. Any questions? So if we agree to what you're saying, we will show our camera. Exactly. And true. if we don't, we will not open it. And if we want to talk, we will raise our hand. And the people who do not open their camera will do a heart. Exactly. You got it, Rima. Thanks. Yes. Okay. But yes, please try to turn your cameras on, though. I know some of them don't work, but please, please try. Okay. So first thing. All right. Turn your camera on if you like spicy food. If you like spicy food. Awesome. Great. Okay. Camera's off. Okay, I'm gonna also join you guys. All right. So turn your cameras on if you have a sister. Great. Camera's off. Turn your cameras on if you like to travel. Like to travel. So again, while I'm doing this, if you guys have any other ideas, you let me know, okay? I feel overwhelmed at school. I feel overwhelmed at school. I feel overwhelmed at self. I feel overwhelmed at school of future. I am obsessed with house plants. I am obsessed with house plants. Yes, I know you are, Annika. <laughs> Great. Okay. Since it's just, uh, well, Annika, would you like to say a prompt? Oh, Selena, that's a good question. Maybe you could turn it into a statement and then you can say it and we can respond to it. Uh, okay. Um, would you consider yourself an, uh, as an extrovert? So I, you would say, I consider myself an extrovert. And then everybody else who thinks they're an extrovert, turn your cameras on. So I am an extrovert. Okay. Yes, uh, Rima, raise your hand. So Rima, go ahead. OK, show your cameras if you think cats better than dogs. Good, thank you, Rima. Annika, go ahead. I consider myself overwhelmed with the fact that I have to soon decide what job I want to like be part of, like what job I want to live out. Mm -hmm. We can see a little bit of Sylvia's camera. <laughs> 
So Annika feels overwhelmed with having to choose what career path or what job. Yeah, that can be, that can be a lot. Okay, thank you, Annika. Anyone else have any, anything they wanna share or anything you wanna say? Hanifa, go ahead. I consider, consider myself as a school sports hater. I, I mean, the sports that we do in school. So, wait, say it. Can you repeat it? I consider myself as a school sports hater. This is sports that you do in school and you hate it. <laughs> Anita does not like doing sports at school. <laughs> All right, thank you. Sylvina, go ahead. Uh, yeah, so since Rima asked for um, the cat persons, who's a dog person? <laughs> Who likes dogs? I like cats and dogs, but I don't think one are better than the other. <laughs> awesome, thank you, Sylvina. Okay, I have one. I feel like other 16s are way ahead of me in their progress. I feel like other 16s are way ahead of me in their progress. I prefer to be outside, like I'm outdoorsy. Like I prefer to be outside than inside. Okay. And this is the last one I have, but if you guys want to add to it, I would rather be, actually, this is not true, I'm going to do it. I would rather be cold all the time than hot all the time. This one is difficult. <laughs> I would rather be cold all the time than hot all the time. <laughs> yeah, I guess when you're cold, you can put on more and more layers. But the opposite doesn't work. <laughs> All right, okay, so that's the end of my list. Do you guys have anything that you want to say before we move on to the next thing? So we may have your hand. Who is that? <laughs> I, I would also have one more. So I consider myself a people pleaser. I guess that makes sense to others. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Annika. Okay, we can do two more. Yes, Rima, go ahead. Okay, I consider myself to be someone who eat love food more than doing sports and healthy things. <laughs> yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> food is light. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, thank you, Rima. And then any last one? Who wants to be the last one? I want to be the last one. Okay, go ahead, Kota. I consider myself a person who loves going to church. Awesome. awesome. Okay, I will do like the very last one. I am excited 
to see all your projects at the expo because I know they're going to be awesome. <laughs> so excited to see everybody coming. I think everybody needs to turn their turns. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, okay. Really, really awesome. Okay. Oh, so now I'm going to uh, put you into breakout rooms. And I want you guys to, you know, I'm going to, you know, talk about your projects. What are you excited about for your self project? What are you worried about for your self project? Um, what, you know, just talk, hang out, um, listen to each other advise each other, support each other. Okay, so that's the idea. We just want you guys to talk a little bit about your projects, but also make sure that you are talking and being supportive and positive with each other. All right, so I'm gonna make your rooms. So, I'm going to send you to your breakout rooms. Um, I think I'm going to do them for 10 minutes and then we will come back. All right. Enjoy and see you back in a bit. All right, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed conversation and hopefully got some support with everything that's coming up. So before we go on to the next thing, I do have Vidaya's picture. So I want you guys to um, take your drawings and put them, put them on the screen so we can see. Or uh, if you can't put it on your screen, send it into the general Discord chat. So, Vidya, this is what your cohort mates think. And Josh, yes, and Josh as well. I think you. So, Vidya and Josh, these are what your batch mates think you look like. <laughs> so, go ahead. So, and we should. I didn't so we get should also thing. hold up Josh's picture. Yes, go ahead. Show, okay. show the pictures that you drew, either, whether it was Josh or Vidya or both. I didn't get this. I am this sorry, back. Josh. This one is updating. Sorry? My phone's updating. My, my iPhone's updating. So. Okay. So, Josh, uh, when you can, send us the picture. But look at the, look at the pictures of you. Does it look like you? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm really sorry. And I have this one. Like, they're not even humans. <laughs> <laughs> Anika, that looks amazing. Uh, Anika ones look almost like mine. Whoa. Awesome. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you what Vivia looks like because that's his picture I have. I'm going to share my screen. All right, can everybody see? So this is the first time I'm seeing Vivia's face. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but yeah, Here you go. Such an awesome picture, Lydia. You look such a cool pose. <laughs> All She's right. Cool. I appreciate it. I think everyone's an artist. I was looking through the guy, you guys' photos and drawing. It's quite cute. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have to say that we drew this pictures in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes. All right. Awesome. Okay. So this is like an activity uh, that is, could be really good for like, you know, when you're first meeting each other. So we wanted to test it out and see, because there are some of you who can't turn your cameras on and I haven't seen some of you. So it's, it's good. Okay. Now um, you're going to use, we're going to do another drawing activity. Um, and what you're going to do, so grab a new piece of paper or a new whatever, pen, pencil, whatever you need. And what you're going to do is you are going to draw your project. So don't start yet. So you're going to draw your project at so. Um, so this is what we're going to start with. So start drawing your project. And what's going to happen is you are not going to leave the drawing for three minutes straight. So like you're going to keep drawing for three minutes straight. You're not going to lift your pen up. Or your pencil up. Oh, when you say our projects, what do you mean? Like the logo or? So you could draw the logo, you could draw uh, people using anything, anything that surrounds your project, you're going okay. to get. Okay. So this is a just kind of like whatever element you think is part of your project, um, you draw it. Yes, Annika. Um, so we're doing one line drawing. Yes. Okay. But it could, it doesn't have to be like completely like one line. It's just basically like, I don't want you to stop at all. Like if you have to like for a second, lift your pen to do something else, that's okay. But like, I don't want you to stop for three minutes. Okay. Don't start yet. I'm going to time you guys. I see some of you starting, which is <laughs> all right. So you're going to start drawing, um, I'm going to get my timer. Okay. So go ahead and start, start drawing. Think about um, the problem. Think about the problem that you are solving. What kind of, you know, what kind of things did you learn during this journey? What kind of things did you um, have, have more insight about? Okay, so you're drawing the problem, you're drawing insights. Think about the solutions. What worries do you have about your project? What is worrying you? What is exciting you? So you have the problem, you have insights, solutions, worries.
All right. Stop drawing. <laughs> Lift your pens up, pens and pencils up. <laughs> I want to see them. <laughs> we must stop drawing. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Okay. So now, what I want you to do, and I'm going to actually type this in, is you're going to do some like highlighting. So you're going to put a star around the problem. You're going to box insights, triangle the solutions, and circle the words. So I'll, I'll post it right now. So basically like go to your drawing and kind of like, where's the problem? Put a star around it. Where are your worries? Circle it. Um, the solution, put triangles in it. Okay, so take like a minute to do that. So now go ahead and show what you have drawn on, on the screen. Put it on the camera. What have you drawn? And if you can't show, please send a picture in the Discord. We might love it. <laughs> These are, wow, these are awesome. <laughs> okay, so everybody take a picture. Um, take a picture and put it onto the channel. Onto our general channel. All right, so please, if you haven't already, send it. I think it's so cool to see like how your minds are working and the types of things you're drawing. And it's really cool. Okay, so now that you know, you're thinking about your project, your expo is a few weeks away. I, um, I have brought one of my graduates, Sadil, to our session today because I'm sure you guys have questions, concerns, worries, hi Sibyl, um, about what's gonna happen next. So let's, you know, this is gonna be kind of like, you can ask Sibyl all the questions and she will try her best to answer. She will try her best to give you some advice some recommendations. So Sibyl, would you like to start off? And if you have any questions about Expo, about stakeholders, about next steps, about anything, uh, we will try our best to answer all your questions, okay? So if you have a question, raise your hand. 
and Seville. Um, Seville actually, she was a runner up at the expo. She did an amazing job. And I want her to tell you about a little bit about the project that she did. And I think some of you also know her, so that's cool. But yeah, an amazing person, awesome. She was an amazing SOAP student, loved having her. So I'm really happy she's here today. All right, Sadio, go ahead, the floor is yours. Thank you, Sadaf. Um, hi, hi guys. I'm really glad to hear that your uh, graduation is, is near and uh, you have to be like preparing yourself and you have to um, keep all your ideas in mind. I, I'll start off by, by talking about my, my idea, which is um, the Pathics app. Uh, it's an idea to, uh, to solve the problem of uh, not knowing how, not being able to learn for students because some students um, consider it really boring uh, to study or really boring to keep up with all the lessons they get and they can't even understand the thing from its root. So the aim of uh, my uh, app is to make the students understand uh, what they're studying and uh, also have fun while studying it. So it's not only about making them study, it's about making them love what they do. It's about making them interested in what they're doing so that they end up uh, in a job that they love, not a job that they're forced to go to and uh, uh, they end up enjoying life. So yeah, that's the aim of Pathex. Um, and about the expo, um, the, the like most important thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to keep all your ideas in your head. Like you have to know what you're doing. Maybe you have some questions. You have to answer all the questions you have about your own business. Because if you yourself don't know what you're doing in your business, you can't explain. So you have to keep all your ideas explainable in your head. Like ask yourself, uh, to whom am I doing the business? Uh, what is the aim of it? Uh, what am I doing exactly? Uh, how am I doing it? Ask yourself every question that comes into your mind because that's really important for you to understand what you're saying and to make the people who are who are there to understand what your your idea is and like what is the aim of it so that they can um, vote. And uh, another thing is that don't don't put only like winning the expo in your head. It's not the important. Um, it's like fun to win. Okay, but like uh, just keep in your mind that it's it, not winning the expo doesn't mean that you have to stop. Uh, it means that you have to complete. It, have to, it means that you have to like read more about what you're doing, uh, make it more professional and start doing things. Start like you have to keep working on your project. Like um, SOF is a um, place uh, where it puts all the ideas in our heads. And graduating means that we have to complete thinking about it. It, has, it means that we have to continue working on it so that uh, we achieve all what we want. So if you guys have any question, you can ask. I'm here to answer. So Sabio, um, yes. Annika, go ahead and then I'll ask my question. Okay, so what was the one thing that you were like most terrified about was introducing your problem, so to say? Actually, uh, the most part that I was uh, terrified of is missing up while saying my speech because you guys have to say speech. So uh, I don't know if you were told, but like you have to like write a speech. So this was like the most uh, hard part that maybe I missed up a word, but it's okay. Just just think of it as like there are that you can see only Miss Kelsey and um, sort of in, in front of you. So just think of it that it's a, a normal session and uh, no like strangers are there. You only know your friends and it's totally fine. It's going to be totally fine. Kalatso, go ahead. Um, my question is, did you have any challenges presenting your idea to people and how was the response always positive? So uh, regarding the expo itself, I, I think that uh, you have to like, uh, just like how I said, you have to make it 100% explainable. You have to explain each and everything in the business so that everyone understands. Uh, so just um, just like uh, keep in mind the the small stuff as well, and other than that, no, there was there wasn't like challenges because when when your speech is one hundred percent complete and uh, you can understand it yourself, just 
uh, put yourself in the place of the other people and read your speech. If you can understand what's the aim of it and what are you doing exactly, then everyone else can understand and it's going to be uh, totally fine. They will understand your idea and if they liked it, they will vote for you. Yes, and to follow up on what Sadil said, it's, you know, I think that some of you, some of, and this happens naturally with all the students, is like, you guys think you have to have a complete and finished prototype, but it's more important to know the content and the information and the, you know, the intention, the objective of your business than it is to have like an amazing website. Because building an app, building a website, building a platform takes a really, really long time, right? And you guys are still students, you guys still have school and exams and no one's expecting you to have something that's like perfect. We want to see something, there should be, you know, there should be something that you have um, presented, but it's not, we're not expecting something perfect. What we do want is what Sadio said, like you have to give a speech, your pitch. It's gonna be three minutes long. And you're gonna to have to convey in those three minutes to an audience about your idea and why like they should invest in your product, right? That's the idea is like, you wanna be able to display your project because yes, we could talk about it for days, right? But like there are people in the audience who have never even heard, um, you know, have never even heard about it. They are just seeing all these students go, you know, one by one talking about their idea. So you have to, you have to figure out what am I going to say and how am I going to present my idea in three minutes. So that's why it's very important, as Sadio said, to have everything explained and everything, you know, like you have to be sure of what you want to do with your business. Exactly, exactly. Uh, I'll just say the one last thing because it's important. Actually, I, I didn't have my website and I don't have it till now uh, because uh, I know that like the, 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 the audience or the, the people who are going to be watching you, uh, the most important thing is that the idea uh, gets in their head. You have to like involve them and, and show how important the problem is and how bad the, the situation will be if the problem is not solved. So that's the most important thing. You have to like make them feel how important it is, make them want to solve it, even if they have nothing to do with the problem, just you have to make them involved in such a way that they want to, to do whatever that they can do to, to get the problem solved. That's like the most important part of your speech. Yes, Annika? How is the speech like different to the stakeholder video? Because in the stakeholder video, basically we do the same thing, trying to convince people about our problem and get them involved. So what do I do different from what I say in my stakeholder video to my speech? Uh, okay, so first of all, the stakeholder video was a one minute video, uh, the speech will be three minutes. So uh, what is like different is that you you'll explain everything about your business. Maybe at the point of the stakeholder video, you won't even have the business complete the idea of your business complete in your head. But like when you're about to graduate, you'll have everything complete in your head, you will have the idea, the questions that you have to answer. Um, uh, how will you get the people involved? How will you you make them feel like um, make them feel broken because of how the problem is affecting the society and is affecting our generation? Uh, so it's just that uh, you will explain your business uh, in like maybe the same way, but you'll explain it in in a way more like uh, detailed and in front of more people so that you convince more people to to um, agree and vote for you. So Sadio, I would say the 16s right now, they are um, finishing week 12 and they're feeling all kinds of things and they're talking to you. So what would you say is something you like you wish you would have done before Expo? And I'm talking more about like, because I'm sure you, you, know, you were also full of nerves and they are as well. So like, what would you advise them? What would you wish you like, would have done differently if you if you think you would have should have done things differently. 
Uh, okay, so uh, the like main point of it is the stakeholders. I actually didn't have more than four and I didn't have the activities and that much, you know, um, things because I had exams that uh, that like uh, during the stakeholder like uh, two weeks. But uh, I've already joined two stakeholder video, uh, two stakeholder groups. I'm not sure if they're from here. It's Jansur and Rima. They're from here, right? Yeah. Uh, so uh, what I'm seeing is actually so amazing. I I'm really amazed. Like you, you're convincing people that your problem is, is you know, is is important, uh, and it's through the stakeholders because they're going to help you so much. I only had four, and I felt that I I've got so much help. So focus on your stakeholders, uh, on your stakeholder groups, and know that it's really important. And also, if they liked the idea, they're going to vote for you on the expo. Yes, and definitely remember, like, even though Sudhir said she had four, right? Still four different minds that she got to get information from, got help from, and support from. So I think that having that group is awesome, but also don't chase the numbers. Like I said, don't, don't worry if you don't have, like, 20 people. That's, that is a lot to handle and a lot to manage. And we are trying to ease the stakeholder journey aspect of it because we don't want you guys to get so caught up in stakeholders that you're not focusing on like your pitch or your speech. So definitely like, yeah, the stakeholder groups have been started, they're happening, they're amazing. But also remember that you do have the elements of the pitch and the speech. And that's where you have to make sure that you really define what your ideas are, just like Sylvia said. Okay, Rima, go ahead. So I was gonna ask him, I ask, asking, uh, in the ex, expo, uh, what is the most thing that you was like really worry about, like that make you kind of before that you before your presentation and after it, what is the most thing that make you really worry, worry, sorry about it. Okay, so the question is that what what is the most thing that made me worried before the presentation or after it? Okay, so yeah, as I said, the the most thing well, that made me worried. Yeah, yeah. Okay, the most thing that made me worried uh, during the presentation was like um, my speech. If I messed up in a word or if I didn't um, say something correctly, because you know I had this, I had the speech and I was reading. Like I I learned it in my head, but because I was too afraid of messing up, so I had the speech in front of me and I was reading. So I was just afraid if I uh, read uh, a line like twice or like, you know, read the whole, the, the one paragraph more than one time and, and such stuff. So that was something that uh, made me afraid. After the presentation, uh, the thing that will make you afraid is uh, for sure winning the votes or not, because uh, you will have the round one, uh, which um, will like, it, it, it will, um, it will make you know if you're going to go to the other round or not, because it, it will be, I don't know how many of you will be there, but but um, according to the first round, if you won, you'll be, um, you'll go to the second round. So that was the, the most thing that I was afraid of after saying my speech. Uh, it, it, did I do right? Was it good? Did the people like it? Did the, the did Ms. Kassin and Sadaf like it? So yeah, that's the point. And then uh, you'll go to the second round if, the, if not, then you'll you'll just keep watching and you'll support your friends. Salvina, ask your question. Okay. Um, so talking about winning the people over, um, would you say that like um, with the stakeholders, all the stakeholders are voting for you or are it more like um, about the project or about the people that are here? So uh, for me, uh, you know that the stakeholders uh, can can be in more than a group, okay? Just like me, I'm in Rima's and in Jansur. So uh, I'll have to vote for a, a person, like one person during it so okay what i was saying i'm sorry i got a call that's why my camera was off anyways uh 
so uh, the the stakeholders you can't just like rely on the stakeholders because they might have another uh, another person to vote for. Um, bringing people, bringing your friends is actually important. I only had uh, like five of my friends. I didn't really have so much, and my family wasn't voting. So uh, yeah, bringing family and friends is important because it will it will increase your votes. And uh, in my opinion, it will depend mostly on if the people liked your your idea or not. Because I only like had five people uh, who were my friends to vote for me, but the um, the like remaining votes were from. Um, were from like the people who were watching because I, th I I think that I I explained my idea and then they liked it and they voted for me for so in my opinion the most important part is explaining your idea so that the people are also not bored not just explaining it like you have to you know make some face reactions so that they're enjoying your speech so that they uh, vote for you at the end and and can you vote like for several people or only one person? Okay, so in round one, uh, you can, it's going to be just rating, not actually voting. So you're going to rate each person's speech, which, you know, the speech round, you're going to rate each person's speech, the voter uh, um, will vote, will rate. And then uh, the, the, the results will be depending on uh, your work on the platform. And also the votes. So it's going to be like 50% 50, 50 depending on the votes and 50% depending on the, the rates of the people, of the like uh, voters. But then the second round, which is, you know, the final round where you know who's the winner of the expo, it's going to be 100% uh, voters, like votes. And it's, uh, it's going to be like they can only vote for one person. So um, it's all depending on the, the people's votes. So this, like this, the last round is, is you have to know it's the, it's you're going to be asked questions the last round so you mm -hmm. have to know how to answer the questions and then according to that the people will vote for you and according to their votes you're going to win the expo okay i have one more question wait so lena before you ask i want you guys to know like let's not focus too much on voting on winning on all Maybe that it's, stuff it's not, uh, not about i just want to make sure that we talk about like you know, I don't want to freak you guys out. I don't want to overwhelm you. Um, I don't want you to feel that way. I want you guys to really focus on how passionate you are about your project, um, you know, what you want to tell people about it, and also have fun. That's the biggest, biggest thing is, like, make sure you have fun because you have created something amazing in this journey, right? And you want to make sure that you are enjoying this moment, not just, like, frazzled and trying to figure out all this stuff so like just to remind you like I'm sure Sadia will agree like make sure you have fun and enjoy and like it's gonna be you know your last weeks so yeah Sylvina what was your next question um is it do you is it like just a speech or are you also having a presentation like behind you or something like this so oh, it will be okay i'm sorry yeah so it's okay so i was gonna say it quickly so because we can talk about these details like later i want i want you guys to ask questions to talk about like you know giving you know making sure that you're not feeling overwhelmed with all this stuff so basically what's going to happen is that you have to each of you have to give a three minute pitch a speech about your project and then i will do the presentation so you don't have to worry about the powerpoint or the presentation and then if you get if you become a finalist, you will be asked another supplement question and you have one minute to answer that. I will definitely give you those questions beforehand and we will pick one of them, one or two of them. So you have you will have those prepared. Um, that we can talk about because we do have some time, like you guys have an extra week that we've given you. So we do have time to go over the flow, to go over those logistics. Okay, so I hope that that clears everything up. Yes, Anika, go ahead. And uh, I have a question too, Sadia. So basically, you already got your questions beforehand. So how did you choose which question you were going to answer whilst your expo? So like, how did you? Which criteria did you use to like get rid of the questions you didn't want to answer? 
Okay, uh, so do you mean like the questions we're going to be asked on the expo, the ones who, uh, the ones where they consider if we're winning or not? I know, I, I don't know if you guys already got the thing that you have to be asked a question on the expo. I'm not sure. No, we haven't got that yet, I think. Oh. But that's why I wanted to know, like, what was your experience oh, okay. with the questions? Okay, okay, let's see. So um, you'll be told like everything about that in like the next weeks. So don't worry about it. But uh, the questions, uh, Ms. Adaf will give you some questions, like uh, about five. And you have to like try practicing most of them. But in my opinion, it's going to be something that it, it will just like, you know, you will just say it. You will just answer it during the uh, during the expo because uh, I didn't practice the questions actually. I I believe that um, I had the idea in my mind, so I I will be able to explain it when I was asked the question. I didn't want it to be something that I learned by heart. That way. So yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So like, it really depends also on your personality, like. For me, I have to write everything down. So like uh, some students did have like their answers written down on paper, but but then sometimes, like Sudhil said, you just end up speaking from your heart and that's totally okay too. Like if you just think, okay, that answer that I wrote down probably is not gonna work. So I'm just gonna speak from my heart. And sometimes that works too, but I would I would definitely say do be, do be prepared um, to, even if it's like bullet points or something, doesn't have to be the exact words that you're saying. But do be prepared because you do want to, you know, be able to like say something and answer it. Okay, Vivia, go ahead. Yeah, like I was just gonna ask on that point, like if you write your like speech beforehand, is it better to make it sound like you prepared, or is it better to just speak fluently like you're talking to an audience without it being prepared? if that makes sense. Okay, so um, it actually doesn't matter if you wrote it down, even if you read it, like you, you, it's better to have it prepared, but it doesn't matter for like the audience to know whether you're, you've prepared or whether you're just saying it fluently, it, it doesn't matter, okay? So you, you just, it's better for you to, ha to be prepared, but it doesn't matter for them. It's just because you, it's just because that you do not mess up while uh, speaking. That's why it's better for you to be prepared. That's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I think that the, that people naturally recognize whether or not you're prepared, but also like, don't, you know, do be prepared because this is something that you're gonna, this is the skill that you're gonna use in the real world. And this is something that you're going to be constantly improving on, like, right? You guys are like young and you guys are, this is your, you know, you're pitching your first project. This is just like, this whole journey is just a taste of what you're going to do in real life. So when you prepare something, people can really, they can feel that. And that's why it's really important to prepare versus, you know, if you're just not prepared at all, which sometimes very rarely does work, but that's because that individual knows exactly what they're talking about, right? So that's kind of also being prepared. But if you're completely like, and you know, you haven't thought about this, you haven't, you know, even thought about how you're gonna answer or how you're gonna talk to the audience, that's gonna be, you're gonna be able to see that. The audience is gonna be able to see that. So make sure that you are prepared in a way when you're like focused. Yes, exactly. You don't need to have, like, you don't have to write the answer down or something. It depends on the personality at the end, just like how we sort of said, but uh, at least read the questions, at least keep them in mind so that you know what you're going to answer, uh, just so that you do not like, um, you do not feel like weird talking about it because you haven't thought about it. So yeah, keep it in mind. All right, so just know you asked when we're gonna start preparing uh, the speeches. Honestly, whenever you're ready, start preparing them. We do have um, a session later on where we do practice them. So if you feel you are ready to start with preparing your speech, because what's gonna happen is that you're gonna write something or you're gonna think of something and you're gonna change it. And blah, blah, blah. So like, it's good to go through that process. Um, so if you feel you are ready, that's cool. I do want you guys to start thinking about it, but also the fact that you're 
doing your work and doing your project is, you know, that is preparing you for your, your speech because you are like so engaged and focused into your project that you are going to be able to talk about it. But yeah, if you want to start preparing, go for it. Um, I will let you know when we are going to practice it. So like we do have to have it prepared by the time we practice it. And that I will tell you guys the, the dates and everything that later. But yeah, so I hope that I hope that answered your question. All right. Okay. Um, so Seville, before we go, I want you to give them a bit of advice, some words of support, because I'm sure they're feeling nervous. I'm sure they're feeling, well, excited and all these kind of things. So like, what would you advise to this group? So never stop working on your idea, no matter what. Um, you will feel nervous and scared and excited and all the types of feelings. Maybe you're not feeling it right now, but the day before the expo, you will feel all sort of feelings and um, just have fun. Think about having fun. It's the most important point. I'm not going to win. I'm, I'm going to enjoy my last session with my, with my mates. Uh, so yeah, the last, the last day of our expo was like filled with emotions because it was our last session so yeah have fun and never think of winning never never just think of um i want to become be better than someone or something we're all the same and we all have like the best ideas best minds um we're going to change the world so uh, keep that in mind um uh, work on your speeches make them explainable and i'll be there to support every one of you and i believe that all of you um are are, are can do it all of you can do it and i know that all of you deserve winning um each one of you has uh, an amazing idea in their minds and i hope you all the best wish you all the best best of luck thank you so much Sibio. thank you for being here taking your time out I know you got a lot of things going on, so really appreciate it. Um, and I, I know that all of them appreciate it as well. And also Seville is like, you know, involved. And I'm sure that if you guys, well, I sh probably shouldn't speak on behalf, but I'm sure that if there's anything, I'm sure so you can reach out to her, ask questions. Exactly. Thank you all. Thank you, Sada, for bringing me. Actually, it's a pleasure. And uh, whatever question you have, I'm there. I'm still there, myself, students. So you can reach out to me. You can ask me whatever you want. Thank you, guys, once again. Thank you so much. And see you in the next poll. Bye. Thank you, Silvio. Bye. All right. So. Okay, so how are you guys feeling after uh, that session with Sadil? How are you, you know, if you um, tell me in the general chat. So let's go to Discord and Annika, you can also speak up, but let's all go to the general chat and tell me how you're feeling. Just tell me right now how exactly you're feeling right now. And Annika, you can go ahead and speak. So I think like most of us got like a bit of more insight now, thanks to Sadio. But at the same time, I'm like starting to get anxious about the fact because she's like, oh yeah, the expo and everything. And she's like talking about Electrola and I'm just like, yeah, I still have to face that. Great. <laughs> and so now, at the, like still now I could like push it off. I was just like, oh yeah, it's like a month or something, like a bit less. And I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I really have to do that then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it you know what happens is like you guys have an extra week and I'm not exactly sure why but like we, you guys have an extra week than they did and because there are we have been changing like content and things like that so we I feel like they had less time I guess to prepare or at least like it was you know Sometimes students were behind and like things that are that. But I do want to emphasize like you guys have three weeks. That's a lot of time. You guys are already having stakeholders. 
and that wasn't happening with the other cohort like they because like they didn't have that much time in between they had their stakeholders and then because we changed the expectation for stakeholders like the us mentors we spoke and we we're like okay we need to like make it more chill so that's why um you guys do have plenty of time you're already doing stakeholders you're way ahead and now you can just like really focus on what you want to say at the expo um and also really defining your ideas and they don't have to be like a million things that you're in your content of your project it could be very like four or five things that are well defined that you're going to do and you're going to speak on them um yeah so it's good that you got that insight but please remember like um you do have plenty of time and of course make sure to enjoy this time and make sure to be so proud of yourselves too like you guys literally remember day one just an idea a thought in your head and now you've actually made something out of it so i would say like that makes you all winners right that makes you you know you should be so so proud of yourselves and i think that's what you need to like really keep your energy on like wow like i'm so amazing i created this and now i'm going to show people and i'm just really excited to show the world what i'm going to do so i would say try to like go with that mindset <laughs> all right let's see what everyone else is saying do you guys anyone else wants to speak up Yes, Rima, go ahead. Okay, I think this feeling like all of us have in it, it's like all of us nervous as <laughs> I did, but most of it's kind of nervous because you are afraid to mess up with it. And it's kind of like weird. We just started <laughs> last week and we like just left two weeks. So it's more i think more like sorry if i mistake that so yeah it's kind of nervous yeah i think um yes i would say that you guys do have enough time to prepare and i wouldn't worry about messing up because you will be practicing your speech over and over again you do have time for that we have a whole session about that so i know it's hard and of course being nervous is a good thing that means that like you know you're into it but don't get too stressed about it okay i just want to emphasize that like don't get too stressed like you guys i just want to keep telling you like you guys are incredible you're ahead of the game you're doing amazing work you should be really proud so don't be stressed just be happy that you get to, to present your idea to the world yes fidia go ahead yeah no i was just gonna say it seems like a lot of people are nervous and I don't know if this helps, but I feel like from every opportunity, whether you mess up or not, there's like always a learning curve and there's growth with that, you know? So even if you mess up your pitching or if you mess up along the way, you can always like take that with you and build on your character for the next, you know, um, opportunity that you get. And I think that's what everyone should take from that if they're feeling too nervous is that when there's those feelings of nervousness and uncomfortable and all of that, you know there's growth ahead of you. And that's always nice to embrace. Yeah. 100%, you know, life is not, you know, going to be perfect. Nothing is going to be perfect, but every opportunity, every experience you have, you learn from it. And, you know, some, like, so they were saying like, oh, I messed up. I have. I didn't even realize she messed up, right? Because I was just so excited to hear her present her idea. She was, you know, talking about, she's very passionate. You can see in the way she speaks, but like, I had no idea that she messed up, right? She probably remembers that. Cause you know, when it's like yourself, you're, you know, we're really hard on ourselves and we really like want to be, you know, be able to like deliver that perfect speech, but really like no one's gonna, no one's gonna realize, right? And you just have to do your best, get through it. And as long as you're prepared and you feel good and passionate about what you're doing, 
then it's going to be totally fine. And it's definitely something to grow and learn from, just as Julia said. Okay, awesome. So now let's go back to the general chat and we're going to do our, you know, best thing ever, the shout outs. So please shout out everybody and anybody, show appreciation, show love. Um, you know, I just want to say shout out to all of you for being here, for, you know, for being so passionate about the problems you want to solve. And I'm really proud of all of you for, you know, getting to this point. And it's good to feel nerves. It's good to feel all these kinds of things. But remember to just be like, okay, I am awesome. And I made something incredible. And I should be proud of that. All right, so I want you guys to keep the shout outs coming, but I do want to let you guys go now. So I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend. Um, you know, good luck on any exams that are coming up and really just try to rest and enjoy. And you guys are all doing amazing. So yeah, you should feel good about that. Okay, so bye everybody. And yes, mentor calls. Thank you, Justin Norman. We have our last mentor calls happening um next week so make sure you're there otherwise yeah you and i will be talking for the last time which is crazy i know um there might like we're definitely going to see each other in sessions and there's an additional session since you have an extra week but yeah i know it's crazy it's gonna be a lot of a lot of feelings for sure but yes make sure you check your schedules uh, be present at your mentor calls and yeah, have a good week and I'll see you all soon. Bye. 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 Thank you.